You know, whenever we talk about identity politics, we don't talk about enough the people who actually do these identity politics and what happens when the woke eat their own, right? The woke eat their own all the time. We say this literally all the time. And when we talk about that, it always is such glorious examples. And now we have another example. So you guys know David Tennant. Obviously, he's one of the most famous, if not the most famous person to play Doctor Who. He is also extremely woke. He is all for this identity politic nonsense. And he is literally partaking in it in the latest Christmas special that happened with Doctor Who. But apparently David Tennant's own wife, who granted, I don't know her political affiliations, but she is most likely hardcore left, just like David Tennant, his own wife was bullied off of Twitter for refusing to attack Israel. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, when the woke demand you to show up, when the woke demand you to be an ally like you said you are, when they demand your sacrifice, if you do not give it to them, they will ruin you. This is why you do not bend the knee to the mob ever because the moment you give them that power over you that's it you're done to the point where you had to leave twitter you were bullied off twitter for not picking a side imagine forcing yourself to live in a world like that it's ridiculous so let's get into this article guys from phantom pulse but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it like the video to push us out into the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing to my manga channel the links are in the description box below i would absolutely love to see you there so it says david Tennant recently returned to the role of doctor who for the doctor who's 60th anniversary with three specials written by russell t davies Tennant, along with the cast and crew of doctor who have been pushing rapidly radical left agendas within the show and on their personal platforms for a long time. But it wasn't enough for an increasingly angry online mob who's been demanding the cancellation of anyone who isn't rapidly pro-Palestine. His wife, Georgia Tennant, was bullied to the point she deleted her Twitter and X account this weekend. <laughs> Again. Again, I don't mean to laugh, but it is funny. It is funny, right? Like you you push this stuff. Like you you feed the mob. You constantly feed the mob with your identity politics. You push this stuff in your TV shows. You push this stuff with your acting. You push this stuff, I'm sure, on your Twitter pages. And now that they've come to you and they said, Hey, we need you to bend the knee and align with us on this situation, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. And then when you don't do it, what do they do? You think they care about you? You think this mob actually gives a shit about you no they're gonna eat you alive and they're gonna move on to the next guess what happens when shooty got was called upon if his gay ass doesn't bend over and bend the knee and essentially say whatever they want him to say what do you think's gonna happen to shooty got he's gonna be completely destroyed as well he's gonna be eaten by his own so this is what happens when you feed the mob and you try to bend the knee to the mob when you give them this power over you that's it you're done you're done for the rest of your you might as well leave the internet like you just did okay I, honestly i think she did the right thing just leave the internet at this point Point because they own you they completely own you they own everything about you you might as well just leave it says ex-user john the white first reported that george Tennant, wife of one of the fandom's favorite doctors david Tennant, was bullied off the platform in recent days in his first tweet he mentions a user and he asks, wait georgia Tennant is a zionist another user replies yeah she's liked loads of zionist propaganda on instagram and then unliked it after getting called out without apologizing or anything the woke mob is crazy enough to stalk what posts the wife of a famous actor likes on instagram showing exactly how unhinged these weirdos are georgia Tennant rightly replied with wow i mean are you honestly surprised though like you shouldn't be shocked like georgia you, you really shouldn't be you you should know who you're giving the power to before you give them the power you know what i mean like you should know who you're bending the knee to and when you when you push this radical ideology you really need to be careful because again it's only a matter of time before that radical ideology comes for you and it always does we have so many so many examples of woke celebrities actors whatever all getting completely destroyed by their own because they decided to like one thing or say one thing that they didn't agree with whatever the case may be they get completely eaten alive and this is no different she followed up with a series of tweets saying, just to clarify my wow, it's not a response to being called something. Call me what you want. That's fine. It's a response to a lie. I don't like lying. I don't tend to comment on here unless I feel my contribution can offer more than others. On this matter, it can't. David Tennant's wife continued, I do not support the killing of innocent people, nor do I associate with people who do. But you know that. If you want to hear from the people about what is happening anywhere around the world, look to those whose words can inform and teach you. Georgia Tennant concluded, I follow lots of people who have taught me a huge amount recently and i can't recommend it enough i will always support everyone's right to live in peace always no nah, that's not good enough 
That is not good enough, man. That is not a good enough answer. You have to give complete loyalty. If you don't give complete loyalty, you can't fence it. Like, you can't fence it now. You don't have that option. You got to give complete loyalty to the woke mob. If you don't do it, you're done. It says the woke mob is increasingly demanding actors, authors, and other celebrities to take stands on every single political issue and try to cancel them if they remain silent on the matter. It's influenced a Doctor Who TV show as Dr. Shudigawa has recently confirmed that the show will be filled with leftist politics in the coming season. Russell T. Davies has also stated Doctor Who will intentionally upset fans with his future content, both of which are just completely retarded. The fact that you are openly admitting that you're going to alienate 50% of your potential viewers is stupid, number one. One and number two, the fact that you are openly admitting that you're trying to piss off people who are fans of the original Doctor Who, that's also stupid. So it's just a combination of stupid people with stupid money doing stupid things. This is just a really, really unfortunate situation, but this is what's happening with Doctor Who. It's just the truth. It says, if what David Tennant and his wife Georgia have to endure is the result, what's the point of all their virtue signaling? Many fans can't help but wonder. After the uproar, Georgia Tennant deleted her Twitter account from the relentless bullying she received. One of the woke cancel pigs responded yeah but she, didn't she basically pull a miss and say that she was neutral about genocide like harassment isn't okay but being neutral about genocide isn't okay either <laughs> I can't. I can't. The people who can't even figure out if they're okay with themselves are trying to tell everybody else what's okay and not okay. Can you imagine that? Like, they can't even figure out themselves, but they want to tell you what to do. They want to tell you how you should live your life. That's just amazing. Further comments demanded people unfollow anyone who defends Georgia Tennant. David Tennant so far has been silent on the matter, not seeming to be willing to stand up for his wife amid a political firestorm. So much for Doctor Who. Well, listen, he's not going to, okay? Because he can't, he can't afford to get canceled either. It's bad enough that his wife got canceled. Now you're risking him getting canceled as well. And then these losers are going to have nothing to do other than, I don't know, figure out another thing to do to make money. I, I really don't know. It's it's sad, man. It really is sad. And again, this is this is what's happening with current day Hollywood. This is what's happening with current day BBC. This is what's happening with actors bending the knee to the woke mob. You guys really need to stop. I don't know what it's going to take for you to learn and realize that by pushing this radical nonsense, it's only a matter of time before it comes to you you can't push this nonsense and expect complete immunity from it it's impossible you can't do it that it's it's literally like a rampaging mob you cannot stand in the middle of the rampaging mob and then hope by the end of the mob finishing their rampage that you're somehow going to be left standing after they trampled you it's just it's not possible you're eventually going to get trampled by somebody somewhere somehow so so long as you keep bending the knee so long as you keep giving them the power over you like this you will forever have to give them that power and they will forever demand sacrifice from you and the moment you do not give them that sacrifice you are done so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out